this conference okay so how many of you uh, have started uh, to study uh, the geography ebook and have found it very challenging to study i i believe a lot of a lot of us you know at times find uh, geography ebooks to be very challenging and apparently uh, if if i specifically talk about exam like tisnet geography is ideally supposed to have a good weightage in the examination with around uh, uh, at least 3 to 4 questions coming from geography even if say i talk about other examinations like uh, ift or uh, zat or uh, cmat i could still see that there could be at least two questions of geography so geography overall becomes an uh, important subject uh, from the perspective of uh, gk section for any exam out there and hence uh, it's important for us to study geography properly yes uh, the, the ebook which is provided to you is slightly a lot more comprehensive uh, there are few parts uh, in the ebook uh, which you may have not come in the examination for last couple of years so in this particular session i am going to tell you that uh, what are the most important sections in the geography ebooks and what do you need to study specifically within those subsections so there are five or six subsections which you need to prepare very well in geography and that is what i am going to tell you then in the next session i am going to explain to you a condensed form of uh, geography that is uh, out of the two ebooks of geography which you have uh, plus taking up past year questions of multiple exams i will form one condensed uh, geography ebook of not more than 20 pages and uh, that is something which will be the must to do for you while you study these two geography ebooks because they are very comprehensive i will share with you uh, uh, a condensed format of them along with past year questions which would uh, be like a must to do or say unmissable part of geography and i hope that is something which is going to help you when you prepare geography for any of the examinations out there let me take you quickly uh, you know let me take you through this ebook uh, the, the, the geography ebook now this this part this part which you see of universe is what you can skip you can skip this part universe subheading is what you can skip you do not need to worry about the universe uh, subheading you can skip that again when it comes to the geographical location of india you can skip it you you don't need to remember all these numbers you can skip this part the only thing which you need to remember from this is these two sentences these two sentences are what you need to remember you should know that in the south on the eastern side the gulf of manar and the park strait separate india from sri lanka this is something which you should remember and you should remember that which are the seven neighboring countries with which india shares any kind of uh, uh, you know a, you know uh, the geographical uh, neighborhood and that is pakistan afghanistan china nepal bhutan bangladesh and myanmar these are the two points which you need to remember from the first earlier uh, seen part of this particular ebook you need to remember this sentence specifically where i am talking about the islands this is uh, this is what you need to remember physiography you can skip you can skip the physiography part the indian peninsula part again you can skip you can skip uh, the indian peninsula part what is important is distribution of rainfall in india this this is an important uh, subsection you should remember distribution of rainfall what you need to remember is i will tell you you need to remember what are the areas which get heavy rainfall what are the areas which get moderate what are the areas which get less what are the areas which get scanty rainfall these are the four things which you need to remember 
from the types of rainfall and areas of rainfall subsection then then you can uh, skip this part you can skip this part you don't need to study uh, this in detail you can you can again skip this malwa plateau part the ravli's part the central highlands the bundelkhand is what you could uh, you know skip what you only need to remember is this part in the bundelkhand subsection just remember this part that where where does the bundelkhand upland stretches to and which are the rivers which are there in this particular region similarly when i talk about vindhyanchal you just need to remember that what are the including areas and what are the rivers and what are the kind of deposits coal deposits etc in this particular region chhota nagpur plateau not very important you can uh, skip it for the later time meghalaya plateau the mekir hills you just need to remember that uh, the names of the peaks and the highest and uh, the, the highest peak that's it you don't need to remember these longitude values you can skip it you you don't need to remember this latitude longitude values maharashtra plateau again the similar thing is what you need to remember you can re skip this part this part this part you can skip the the uh, this hills uh, dandakaranya you can again skip you don't need to do south deccan plateau again important you just need to know that which are the regions so for any plateau which is there in the e book you need to remember which regions fall under it which rivers flow through it these are the only two things which you need to remember rest everything is what you can skip no one is going to ask you that tell me the average elevation of uh, arkian and dharwar formations no one is going to ask you so just re remember that if i talk about karnataka plateau uh, what are the regions it covers and what are the rivers in it that's it same for all the plateaus just the regions and the rivers western ghats you need to remember you need to re remember that what are the important peaks in western ghats and which is the highest peak along with its height that's it you don't need to remember the height of all the peaks you don't need to remember that the height of all the peaks just remember which is the highest peak what are the different peaks and the height of the highest peak that's it you should remember the name of the important passes so you should know the thai ghat and the bhor ghat uh, these are the important passes which uh, which are uh, you know in the western ghats that's what you should uh, remember but again uh, the other paths are what you could skip then uh, you should just know that uh, what does bhor ghat and the goran ghat and the haldi ghat they connect with uh, you don't need to remember the heights this is what you don't need to remember but you need to remember that it connects mumbai with pune so just these are the few things which you need to do over here uh, moving ahead again in the hills part just remember that what are the things which fall under it rest you don't need to study at a high priority when i say don't need to study i majorly mean that you don't need to study that at the higher priority uh, but uh, you know that is something which you could come to later on once you are done with rest of the syllabus i am telling you those things in geography which you should remember for sure without fail again palghat again you don't need to remember the elevations elevations you don't need to remember you can you can skip the uh the height of uh, any particular ghat the elevations you don't need to remember when it comes to himalayas you should know the passes these are the important things no one is going to ask you width or height or uh, no, uh, no one is going to ask you length width height but they are going to ask you passes in the state so you should focus more on uh, remembering the passes rather than remembering uh, the length width and height and then forgetting it later but the passes is what you should remember along with the state name now now we come to the highest peaks you should know mount everest you should know kanchenjunga then you should know the lowest peak the highest peak of different areas heights you you just need to remember the approximate number you don't need to remember the exact height and just remember the countries just remember these two areas 
the important ranges and the important hill resorts. The average height is 3,700 to 4,500. You can skip it. Just remember what are the important ranges in the lesser Himalayas and what are the important hill resorts in the lesser Himalayas. That's what you need to remember. Again, again, when it comes to outer Himalayas, just remember, remember the glacier part. This is what you need to remember. These names of the peaks, names of the peaks is what you need to remember. You can skip the height part. Remember the names of the peaks. You can skip the height part. The glacier is what you need to remember. Again, you don't need to remember the length of the glacier. You just need to remember the name of the glacier and in which valley it is. Similarly, when it comes to main passes of Himalayas, just remember the names. Just remember the names and what does it connect? The name and what does it connect? You can skip the elevation of the main passes. You don't need to remember the elevations. Just remember the name, the region, and what it connects. What, what are the two areas which it connects? That's what you need to remember. Same with all these Bomdila, Bunel Pass, Changla, Depsa Pass, the Hang Pass, the Poo Pass, everything same. Just remember the name and what it connects. Do not waste your time in re remembering the elevation. Emesla, Khartungla, Jelepla, Lanakla, all, all these, all these you could just skip. Just remember the names it connects. These passes are important. In the examination, you will get the question which would say that this is the pass and then you will be getting the options that what it connects with. You will get, uh, say it connects uh, A to B, C to D, E to F and so on. You have to mark the answer or they will tell you A to B is connected to which pass. So these are the two ways in which you will get the question in the examination and that's how you need to remember it. No one is going to ask you the altitude or the elevation. Same with all the passes. I'm just skipping this part because it's all the passes. I've told you how to what to study about the passes. Coming to the northern plains. Just remember these four things. Uh, the, the theory written above uh, is what you could skip. Remember these four things. And for example, if I say Bhabar, you should be able to tell me Shivaliks. If I say Tarai, you should be able to tell me that uh, it's, it's uh, a zone of excessive dampness. If I say Bhangar, you should be able to tell me that this is the alluvium of plains khadar again i know the flood plains along the river banks these are the four things which you need to remember agriculture very very important agriculture is a very important subsection of geography across the examinations very important all four things you should remember the what are food crops what are cash crops you don't need to know the definitions but you should know that which crop fall under food crop, which crop falls under cash crops, which crop is plantation, which crop is horticulture. Very important table, important crops of India food grains. You have to remember all these in the best possible way. If I say rice, which states, if I say wheat, which states and so on. Same with oil seeds, very important. This, these two tables are very important in your geography book. Please go through them very well. Similarly, when I talk about distribution of minerals, very important. You should know that iron deposits are in which states, bauxite deposits are in which state, mica deposits are in which state, copper deposits are in which state. They will, they will uh, they will either give you the names of the states and they will tell you that uh, which mineral is found in all these states or they will give you the name of the mineral and they will give you five states and they will tell you, ask you that uh, name the state in which this mineral is not found or name the state in which this mineral is found. That is how simply and directly they are going to ask you the question around distribution of mineral resources in India. Very important part. You should remember this. Same with all these, all, all these uh, are important, whether it be manganese, whether it be limestone, whether it be gold, whether it be salt, important. Oceans, uh, you don't need to remember a lot in detail about oceans. 
so you could not uh, you could skip worrying about oceans a lot just you should know the names and you should know know the countries which are closer to those oceans that's it that's the only thing which you need to know about oceans mountains very important you should know which continent has which all mountain ranges this is an important part but again this is not something which will be very frequently asked but you should definitely know what are the mountain ranges in different continents islands they are not going to ask you a lot of uh, stuffs about islands but yes you should know which is the main crop of which island so if i say andaman nicobar you should be able to tell me that rice is the main crop coconut uh, coconut is the main cash, cash crop of nicobar that's what you should be able to tell me you should be able to tell me the uh, fruits but apart from this you you don't need to remember a lot in detail same same when i talk about arabian sea uh, island you should be able to tell me what is the main occupation you should be able to tell me the major crops that's it and you should be able to tell me that how is lakshadweep island separated from maldive islands which what is the name of the channel the 8 degree channel is what you should be able to remember rest other things you could skip you should uh, remember the name of the islands which fall under western coast so this is about the first ebook i am now going to move to the second ebook do you do you think uh, that this this highlighting of the areas is uh, going to help you to uh, Uh, increase your effectiveness of studying uh, the geography part i'll be providing you a condensed uh, thing as well but uh, remember these are the areas so so there's a lot of uh, additional information which is there to make uh, the ebook uh, very comprehensive based on last 5 to 7 years but there are certain things which have stopped coming now in the examination and hence uh, you should uh, be aware of it the reason we provide them in the ebook still is you know you never know that they can be asked but uh, but so hence on the safer side they are there but uh, in terms of investing your time in terms of investing your time first invest your time on the highlighted paths ronit you will not find these paths highlighted in your ebooks but i will provide you the video recording of this session which you can refer to plus i will provide you one condensed ebook which will have the must to study things from geography simran i will upload that ebook in another couple of days uh, i will try for tomorrow but uh, expect it to be there by tuesday but till then you you can study all these parts from these two ebooks now coming to the geography ebook 2 i am now going to talk about the geography ebook 2 so pratik sure i will help you with other subjects also don't worry first let's complete geography because geography is one of the most important topics across the examinations i'll tell you about history as well Somya, sure. I will tell you. Just let me complete this ebook. I'll go back to the Western Ghats part. In Western Ghats, you basically uh, just need to remember that what are the different uh, ranges which are there in the Western Ghats. And uh, in Western Ghats, what kind of crops do come up? What kinds of fruits are there? What kind of soils uh, can I find? Uh, you know, around Western Ghats. That's it. Nothing more. Coming to the rivers, the drainage system. don't you can skip whatever theory is there this is a very important part and you should not skip it this part is very 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 important at least one examination is going to ask you at least one question on this what are the sources of different rivers these rivers flow through which all states these rivers flow through which all regions 
you you can skip remembering uh, the length part you don't need to remember that jhelum is 725 chenab is 960 ravi is 720 i don't care about the length what i want you to remember is what are the sources of different rivers which states do they pass through which cities do they pass through or say which regions do they pass through majorly states is what they are going to ask you so if i say that uh, i want you to tell me that uh, river yamuna originates from where river yamuna ends where which are the different states through which uh, river yamuna passes through you should be able to tell me these three things about every river about every main river rest i don't care about anything you even if you don't tell me the length of the river you don't tell me anything else i'm completely fine but i want you to tell me the source of the river the end point of the river and the states through which a river passes only three things about the river is what you should know is it clear so in rivers just study these three things rest everything about rivers is what you can skip you should just at a very high level know about indus water treaty it's it's an important uh, thing you should know uh, that uh, it is about which uh, it is about the water of which all rivers and it is between india and pakistan we all know but you should know that what are the rivers which which form the part of indus water treaty all this part is about the sources of rivers the you know areas through which the rivers pass where the river ends And also, you should be able to tell me that what are the names of the different tributaries of a river. So, for example, if there are X number of tributaries of Yamuna or X number of tributaries of Ganga, you should be able to tell me what are the different tributaries. Like over here, Mahanadi, it rises in Raipur district in Chhattisgarh, and these are the main tributaries of uh, Mahanadi River. These are the things which you need to remember. All these things you need to remember about all the rivers moving ahead rest everything you can skip about the rivers you don't need to remember 495 583 371 these numbers skip it you don't need to remember climate part skip it skip it skip it you can skip climate not important factors affecting india's climate you can skip it forests important forests are important what you should remember is name of the forest where it is and is there any specific species for which that particular forest is known these three things is it clear what forest is there where is it what species is it popular for and if there is any specific kind of a rain which is associated with that forest you should remember that name that's it for example if i say important species of uh, tropical evergreen forests these are the important species you should remember Similarly, about the tropical moist deciduous, you should be able to tell me the species. Some, some forests are known for uh, a specific kind of uh, uh, wood as well. So, for example, if you would see this part, uh, you know, where, uh, where it says that uh, teak and sal are you know, there in the deciduous forest, sandalwood is there, you should be able to talk about all these things. Same about the tropical thorny forest, subtropical mountain forest, dry deciduous, Himalayan moist forests. Majorly, majorly, what they are known for and where are they? Which states do they? That's what you need to remember about forests. Skipping that part because uh, it was the name of different forests. Moving ahead, coming to soils again, very important. Very important is soils. You should be able to tell me the name of the soil. 
you should be able to tell me which all areas is that particular soil found and if there is any specific uh, crop which i could link with that soil you should be able to tell me these three things about soils about every type of soil so for example if i talk about bhangar soil bhangar soil is known for wheat rice maize sugarcane pulses etc so you should be able to tell me this so you are seeing here this is what you should be able to tell me if i talk about bhangar soil similarly about all other soils red soils where is it found it's found in tamil nadu bundelkhand rajmahal kathiawar kutch etc then if there there is any specific color i can link it to a, a particular soil so red soil is not you know is not necessarily red in color you uh, know it it can have just one layer as red but it could be yellow below it you should just know these very basic things but more importantly which crops fall here which crops in places where irrigation water is available they are devoted to wheat cotton pulses tobacco millets oil seeds you should be able to tell me the crop related to a soil composition no malika uh, no you should be able to tell me the color composition no the three things about soil tanisha the name of the soil where is it found what are the important crops linked to that particular soil and and uh, what what is uh, you know the color of the soil is it clear tanisha yes diksha you are correct name of the soil region crops these are the three most important things fourth thing which you could remember is the color skipping the soils part we have talked about lot of soils here so all these you know what to study now minerals only one thing which you need to remember is where is that particular mineral found where is that min particular mineral found that is what you need to remember in minerals if i say manganese you should be able to remember all these areas majorly uh, you should remember the states uh, cities are not that important but it's good if you could remember the city also but states are very very important so for any mineral states are lot more important than the cities so first ensure that you remember the states of every mineral and then you can uh, try to remember the cities also that is the only thing which you need to remember about minerals minerals and states all these are different minerals which are which i am scrolling through wow uh, that's that's an amazing username in the chat window i'm just uh, trying to help you out nothing big uh, coming coming uh, to oil refineries coming to oil refineries uh, just rem remember the names of the oil refineries and where are though they located oil refinery name and where is it located is only important so if i say digboy refinery you should be able to tell me where is it located nagapatnam refinery where is it located baroni refinery where is it located typically with the name you will be able to link but beyond that you don't need anything about the uh, refineries industries again important part is industries this is important if i say cotton textile tell me which are the states tech for industries if i tell you the name of the industry you just need to tell me the states that's it that's what you need to remember from uh, the industries part jute industry which all states copper smelting industry which all states and so on that's it you should know the location of different uh, steel plants it's it's important you should know uh, the location of different uh, steel plants so tisco jharkhand isco west bengal Bukaro, Jharkhand, Raudkela, Orissa, Durgapur, West Bengal. You should remember this. Same part, same part. Same about fertilizer industry. Same about these. Just remember the names where they are found. Names of the states where they are found. National parks. You should know the names of the national park, the location of the national park, and if I can. uh link any specific species with that national park that's what you need to remember otherwise just the name 
and uh, just the name and uh, the location i believe that formatting of this part is not good i will uh, when i will provide you the condensed ebook i will take care of the formatting and provide this in a tabular format for your easy reference c ports important remember the c port names where they are located and where do they connect with so if i say paradip port you should be able to tell me it's in orissa and you should also be able to tell me that india exports raw iron to japan from here c ports are important you should know the location and what are they used for international airports name and the cities name and the cities where they are lakes again important remember this table which is there name and location that's it river valley projects just the name of the project and the state just the name of the project and the state nothing else remember the name of the nuclear power plants and their location location is important i can ask you that where is kundan kulam located where is kundan kundan kulam nuclear power plant you should be able to tell me tamil nadu i should if i ask you kakrapar you should be able to tell me gujarat and so on so they will give you the name of the power plant and they will tell ask you the state in which they, it is located or they will give you the name of the state and tell you to tell them that which nuclear plant is located here nicknames not important but yes if you can remember good but they are not very important longest river yes do remember these but you don't need to remember the heights and the lengths just remember the names again i believe that this should have been provided in the tabular format in the ebook i will provide you this in the tabular format when i provide you the condensed ebook so that it becomes easy for you to learn this is very important every year at least one question is asked from this in at least one exam important boundaries very important okay so with this we come to the end of this ebook one thing which is uh, which you will have to remember but it is not there in the ebooks uh, so far and i am going to provide you is and that is the only thing which is not there in the ebooks that is the name of the different states which share border so if i tell you that uttar pradesh share border with which all states you should be able to tell me if i ask you karnataka shares borders with with which all states you should be able to tell me states sharing borders with other states is an important question and i will i will uh, provide you that particular table also in the condensed uh, geography ebook which uh, which uh, i will provide you in next couple of days uh, apart from this nothing is missing in these two ebooks they take care of everything uh, please start studying as per what i have told you that what is important what is uh, what is less important if i compare geography 1 and geography 2 ebooks i find geography 2 ebook to have lot more content which you should definitely know so please study geography 2 ebook first then move to geography 1 ebook in meanwhile you will be having my condensed geography ebook as well with you from which i can vouch that you will definitely get questions in the examination yes ronit i will be doing that yes simran i am going to upload the video of this recording in next 10 minutes okay so uh, Jennifer, it depends. You know, uh, ideally, you should be able to complete entire geography in two weeks. Dams, just know the name of the dam and the river uh, on which it is there and in which state. That's it, Gayatri. Animals, no animals, no. Shikhar, no animals, no. animals will get covered when i ask you that a particular wildlife sanctuary or a particular forest is known for which animal you know that, that's uh, going to be covered there apart from that you don't need to remember anything else about animals simran yes both this uh, both this ebooks plus what i will provide you uh, as a condensed ebook they will take care of everything you need to study for geography no need to go to any other resource sandeep 
dance is heritage culture these are separate ebooks i will i will cover those topics in upcoming sessions but i decided to cover geography first because uh, geography is a is a very very important topic solar system atmosphere not important anandita okay great uh, so thank you everyone for joining i hope the session was of use arun i will cover all the static gk books later on in the upcoming sessions don't worry great uh, i'll provide you the recording of this session i'll provide you the condensed gk book soon i hope uh, i could add some value and now you can prepare uh, uh, gk much more uh, effectively for geography part and now you are not confused at what to study what not to study great thank you everyone thank you have a have a good day